Let's just say you saved up $400,000 and you stopped investing. And instead, what you're gonna do is you're gonna withdraw $2,000 from that balance every single month. Well, in 10 years, your $400,000 balance will be worth 1.2 million. What? Yeah, this video is gonna be wild. And I got a great question from a subscriber on a recent QYLD video. Here's what they asked. I would like to see one additional comparison, which would be comparing QYLD and QQQ if both were used in retirement for income. Meaning that one person would be selling shares of QQQ to pay for their expenses, and the other would be collecting the dividends from QYLD to pay for their expenses. So I took the painstakingly long, painful process to put this all together in an Excel document about which strategy could potentially be exciting depending on what your goals are. So if you find value in today's content, please take the hopefully not painstaking way of tapping the like button down below. Let's get right to it. Now there's a couple of things that we need to start off with. Now QYLD and QQQ are kind of the same fund as far as tracking is concerned. They both track the NASDAQ 100 top 100 companies in America, but there's a difference. QYLD is focused on options writing strategies that provide income, monthly distributions to the people that invest in their particular fund. QQQ is not trying to aim for income for their investors. Instead, they're focused on the growth of the NASDAQ 100 index. Another very important thing to keep in mind is that past performance which we're gonna look at a lot today in this video, does not indicate future performance. In fact, it could go completely upside down or it could get even better. We don't know, we can't predict the future. Now I'm gonna talk about how we got to 1.2 million by investing 400,000, because technically that makes no sense. Oh, but it's about to. But let's start with the question. And that question would be, okay, you got to a point where you're in retirement and you wanna live, and that doesn't mean that you're old. I mean, if you do this the right way and you start early, if you're young and watching this video, if you start the right way, you could actually retire early. And a lot of people do in their 30s and their 40s and their 50s. And that retirement allows them more freedom to do other things that they're passionate about. So if we look at this, what we're gonna do is look at Portfolio Visualizer. Now, this is gonna be an extreme example. And I know it's a very extreme example, but just bear with me. Let's say the year is 2014 and you're like, oh crap. I need to retire soon, or I wanna retire soon. And it's 2014 and I wanna retire by August of 2022. I better get my act together because I have zero dollars invested for retirement. I have nothing, nothing to my name at all. So I'm going to side hustle and find different ways to make money or try to save as much money as possible so that I can invest, get ready for it, $2,000 a month. Now, I know that sounds like a lot of money, but if you put your mind to it, you never know what you can find. Let's just say it's 2,000 a month. So from 2014 to 2022, right over here on Portfolio Visualizer, we are gonna put in a total of $2,000 contributed every single month. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare two different people. Person one is gonna invest in QQQ and person two is gonna invest in QYLD. Now at the end of the difference between 2014 and 2022, here's what we got. Your balance in QQQ would have grown to $472,758 by putting in $2,000. That is a, look at that, that's amazing. 89% growth over that period of time with dividends reinvested and adjusted for inflation. QYLD, your $2,000 put in every single month, grew to only 292,795, but that is a growth of 78%. And of course, with dividends reinvested, adjusted for inflation. But this is where point number one comes in. Now let's say we're gonna retire off of QYLD, and that is it. This is where my painstaking work came in because I didn't wanna just assume, I had to go through and look at a couple metrics. The very first thing I needed to look at is what was the exact price of QYLD based on the month that you put your $2,000 in and how much money were they paying in the form of the dividend every month that was then reinvested back into your account. And I took this month by bloody month to put this together. So here's the Excel spreadsheet I was talking about. I'm gonna zoom in so we can take a look at it. So here we got the month, here's we got the investment, and here we got the cost per share, shares bought, total shares, dividend, dividend paid, reinvested shares, and total trailing shares. This is how many shares you're building up to based on the dividends that you're reinvesting. So what this all means is that from January 2014, when you get the light bulb to say, I wanna retire by August 2022, here's what that would have looked at. If we scroll all the way down here to 2022, here we are, you now have a total of 14,571 shares of QYLD. And because of that, you're gonna stop reinvesting the dividends and you're only gonna live off of the dividends of QYLD. 
This is how much money you're gonna be making every single month. Roughly, if they continue, and again, past performance, this is just kind of looking at the past. This doesn't mean that the future is gonna look like this. This whole video could go to hell in a handbasket. But if we look at what they've done in the past, let's say they're paying an 18 cents dividend as they did here in July, 2022, you're gonna get a total of $2,556 in dividends that you can cash out and use for your everyday expenses. So living off of $2,500 a month, is that possible? Is that something you could look forward to in your retirement? Now, of course, when you're definitely at retirement age, like you know 60 65 that could be potentially a good solid income on top of some other investments but let's see what happens here if this goes up so let's go to like 20 cents see that 28.92 and your balance uh, let's look at your balance so if you have i'm going to do i'm going to do equals this amount of shares times we're going to use this price that it's currently going for which is 1842 a share that means you have a total of 268,000. of course that lines up slightly with our 292,000 over here but in any case this is what we have 268,000 dollars, and we're not going to touch that money at all we're only going to live off of the dividends and distributions that qyld pays every single month to the tune of about 25 to 2800 dollars and the beautiful thing about it if you really think about this right here it's right around here in July of 2020, where you cross over this point of just kind of excitement from your $2,000 that you put in every month, you're now getting the same amount back in dividends every single month from August 2020 to August 2022. Look at that threshold because now you continue to put in your $2,000, but you're also getting $2,000 in dividends every month. That's kind of cool, isn't it? And, and just to think, this was 2014, not really that long ago. Dang it. I wish I would have started that. But wait, but wait, it gets more exciting because you know QILD, okay, fine, $2,800 a month. But let's look at QQQ. Because we saw back here, right? We have QQQ sitting at 472,758. Now, even though they do pay some dividends, we're gonna pretend they do not pay any dividends. And we're gonna live off of the balance only, only the balance. So here's where things get super interesting. We're gonna start right here with our balance of $472,758. We are only gonna withdraw $2,000 a month. Now we could do 2,500 if we want, but we're gonna do 2,000 for now because we feel that we're gonna take in and maximize our expenses to the fact that we only need $2,000 to be withdrawn from our QQQ balance that we've built up from January 2014 until now every single month. That's it, just $2,000. But remember, there's also something called growth. The fund is going to still grow. And if we look at an annual growth percentage of 10% on average, that is what we can look forward to. So you might be already seeing where this is going. If I have my balance in August 2022, I stopped contributing and now I'm going to start withdrawing. I'm going to take out $2,000, but I'm going to continue to grow at an average growth rate of 10% on an annual, which means every month it's going to grow by about $3,900, which means my remaining total is actually higher than my total balance, even though I'm taking out $2,000 because I'm growing by $3,900 a month and I'm only taking out $2,000 a month. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So guess what happens after 10 years? We scroll down here and in 2032, 10 years from now, you're left with an $870,000 balance despite the fact that you're, you're taking out $2,000 every single month and not contributing anything. You're literally taking money out, taking money out every month, and it continues to grow. That's the power of investing in compound interest, my friend. That's why so many investor people get so like excited about this stuff and you're like, kind of like, what kind of finance nerd are you? That's why, uh, that is why, and that's kind of exciting, but we gotta put a little bit of disclaimer here. First disclaimer is the fact that, you know, obviously, this assumes an average growth rate of 10% right here at the top, right? But there are gonna be bad years and good years. That's why it averages out to 10%. There are gonna be potentially some years where you grow at a rate of like 20, 30, 40, 50%. But then there's some years that you're gonna lose money on your portfolio. Let's say it's negative five, 10, 15, 20. In fact, right now in 2022, we're down about 20% overall. So you're actually negative. But over the long period of time, we're assuming an average growth of only 10%. We're not shooting for the moon and saying it's like 30, 40, 50%. And we're not saying it's doom and gloom and in the negatives. Now you might be saying, well, Bob, I can't live off of $2,000 a month. I need more than that. If you think about everything I do, I need, let's say $5,000 a month. Well, okay, fine. 
I'll put in $5,000, it'll trickle all the way down here. Now let's see what happens. We come down here and we end the next 10 years at $255,000 balance, which means you can take out $5,000 once you've spent your time between 2014 and 2022 building up your balance to enjoy a $5,000 monthly withdrawal. It, with QILD, if you're only gonna focus on the dividends, you're only getting what you're getting. Otherwise, you're gonna have to withdraw on this balance. And the problem with QYLD is, if you're withdrawing on the balance, you're reducing the amount of shares, and the amount of shares reduced means your dividend per share goes down. So you're actually, it's like a double whammy with QYLD. Whereas with QQQ, because of the growth and because of the aggressive growth in this fund, it's pretty exciting. Just know, high volatile things can go up and it can go down pretty severely. And this is not financial advice to change your things from QILD to QQQ or anything like that. All we're doing is we're looking at the past and predicting the future. It doesn't always go this way. So let me make sure my calculations are correct. If this is our total balance when we retire at 472,758 based on that $2,000 monthly like aggressive game plan that you put in over the last couple of years. Let's go back in here and say, okay, there's my balance, 472, but I'm gonna be withdrawing $2,000 every month. So come down here into QQQ, hit analyze, and look at that. Your initial balance with withdrawing $2,000 every single month ends up at $1.3 million. Check this out. If you look at their overall return of 13% in this case, if I plug in that same number over here, if I only withdraw, I'm gonna go back here and say I'm only withdrawing $2,000 every month, it continues to grow at a faster rate. My growth is growing at a faster rate than my withdrawal. And then by the time I get to 10 years from now, I'm at 1.2 million. Now the difference here between 1.2 million and their 1.3 million is remember, I am not assuming any dividends paid. QQQ does pay dividends, just not as much as QYLD. So that's the difference between 1.2 million and 1.3 million in the case of the portfolio visualizer because they are actually reinvesting the dividends based on their calculations. So let me get this straight. I take out $2,000 a month after I've grinded and grinded away and lived so freaking poorly to put in all my money into the stock market and now I can and just coast. Yes, that's what they call financial independence, retire early. But remember, that takes a lot of sacrifice in the beginning. Where were we from 2014 to 2022? What were we doing? I wasn't doing this. I kind of damn wish I did because right now I'd be looking pretty good. But for the skeptics out there, it doesn't always go this way as I've mentioned a couple times in the video. Let's look at the same trajectory. If you went from 2000 to 2014 and kind of flipped that upside down on its head, and let's say you started with 472 and you withdrew that fixed amount, from that period of time, things aren't looking as sexy. Look what happens. You actually lose all your money. Why is that? Because of the dot-com bust and because of the recession that happened in 2007, 2008. You end up losing your money right around the end here in June of 2007. You actually run out of money before the Great Recession hits. And that's why I gotta warn you, even though we looked at all these exciting numbers and it looks like if the past little snapshot of 2014 to 2022 repeats itself, you're gonna be looking freaking awesome. You're gonna retire in 472, and 10 years later, you're gonna still be retired and yet be a millionaire. That's exciting. But if it goes the other way, and we have this terrible decade as we did from 2000 to 2009, well, if QQQ has a strong decade or a strong year, you're gonna be looking great. But consistency with income of that $2,500 distribution and a QILD could be a safer bet. What do you guys think? Comment down below, let me know. Check out this video next and we'll see you on the next video.